Yes. Hi, I'm Mare, and welcome to my kitchen. I grew up in a Greek family with parents in the restaurant business, so I learned how to prepare some pretty incredibly tasty meals. For my own personal health reasons, though, I'm not able to use the same ingredients that they did. Meat and butter, for one. But by using meat substitutes and olive oil, I reinvented these favorite family recipes for a new heart-healthy generation. Let's get started. A vegetarian Greek holiday meal. First, you'll need the ingredients. Olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper, oregano, and some potatoes. Instead of chicken, the meat substitute we use here is called corn. To prepare the meal, first you want to peel and cut the potatoes. I usually cut them into pieces like this, where they're not too small and not too big to eat. Next, we want to season the potatoes. Instead of using butter like the traditional recipe calls for, I use olive oil instead. I baste each potato with olive oil with a basting brush. And I make sure all the potatoes are covered evenly with the oil. For those of you that don't like olive oil, you can use melted butter. Next, we want to cover it with lemon juice. I prefer real lemons, but you can also use the lemon juice in bottles. After you've added the lemon juice, then you can add the salt to flavor. Next, add the pepper. Again, add it to your own taste. If you had too much pepper, it could be a little bit spicy, but just the right amount makes it very tasty. And the last thing, oregano. You can do the same thing with the oregano and add it to your taste. Once you've added all the spices, the next thing and the most important thing in this beautiful meal is adding water. The water will actually soak into the potatoes and if you add enough water they will make them so deliciously moist they will melt in your mouth. I usually fill the pan up about halfway or more. I'm using a new wave oven. It's portable and economical. Baking in the new wave oven is different than baking in a traditional oven. In the new wave oven, I basically put an aluminum foil over the potatoes and bake them for 45 minutes. Next, you want to prep your meat, whether it's chicken or what we see here, mushroom-based corn. Brush the oil in the same way you did on the potatoes on your corn or your chicken. Then spice them, just like you did the potatoes. Salt, pepper, oregano. In the new wave, bake the potatoes for 45 minutes. Make some room in your pot for your meat or meat substitute. Then place it gently into the pan. Make sure that it gets sauteed too. You want this to soak up the water just as well. And last but not least, Add more oregano and lemon juice. I usually use one to two lemons depending on how many people I'm serving. Then you're going to cook it for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes you have a gourmet meal. I like putting the sauce on top of the meat base. It makes it a little bit more moist. And then, serve piping hot. Mmm, I can smell it from here. It's making me hungry. Is it time for another holiday? I'm sure craving this meal. This is a vegetarian meal, but we like to add goat's feta cheese with it. Enjoy! Yes, us.